morning, everybody. I don't even know if you can see us. We trying to get our camera situation straight. Yo. Okay. Where you put my phone? You probably can't see Audrey. Did you leave your phone? No, you just had your phone. No. Um, we are on our way to three places. Okay, four places. The first one is a place called Another Broken Egg. It's gonna be both our first time going. The second place is I need to wash my car. Watch out. Did you? Oh, I should say you put it in there. The third place. Okay. The third place is Walmart. And then the fourth place is the beauty supply. Oh, shoot. Let me speed up to get around now. Because we both need to go to the beauty supply. Um, my heart finna break. It's in here. I know. It's not in my hand. Did it fall on the side of the seat? Baby, please come back home. <laughs> oh. Is you really talking to your phone? Please. Well, we know it ain't fly the car because you've been in the car the whole time. I don't think it went in my lap. Did it fall in my lap and then fall to the floor? Girl, no, you ain't dropped my phone on the floor. Yeah, how would I drop your phone? What? Uh, uh. But baby, you set it in my lap because you was trying to um fix my phone. But yeah, hubby was gonna go with me this morning to the address. I just touched David you to go get breakfast. I'm here. My phone always goes. But on. Don't be, in, when I say let's go, don't be asking me a thousand questions. Because if I say let's go, let's go. And <clears throat> he's a worry ward, and plus he be agitating me. So as soon as I felt agitated, I said, oh no, you're not going to get my vibe. It's Sunday. I just did I just did a four page paper in one hour. Plus. I be feeling like somebody when I be doing stuff. Yeah, like, <laughs> like <laughs> don't. <laughs> Not right now, cause I'm on right now. When I get home, I got some filming to do. I'm on right now. Don't play with my gangster right now. So I'm like, okay, my daughter. We ain't went out and ate together in a. We ain't went out and ate together in a minute, huh? That's in a restaurant. Huh? I, I remember. I was thinking about checkers today. Like, I don't know. Cause you've been doing your own thing with your friends, and I've been doing my own thing. We ain't just had no daughter time. So I talked the red into watching Tokyo as long as I bring him something to eat from McDonald's. Yep. Why everybody love McDonald's? Now? That's my spot. <laughs> <laughs> so I'ma bring him something to eat from McDonald's. Um, but yeah, this will give us a little chance to have some mother and daughter time that we ain't had in a long, long time. Like we chilling, she chilling my room a lot, but we just been out and about together in a while. Not since, I want to say we went to Burlington's to look for them bras, but we went to Burlington's and I think we came home back, got me a salad from Gringo's and came back home. So that was a little quick little song. And it's just a beautiful Sunday to be out. And see, hubby don't understand that it's a beautiful Sunday to be out with your wife. Like, and I, here's my thing. He's a homebody now. I don't know when he decided to become a homebody, but that ain't cute. He a homebody now. So it's like I have to beg you to go places. Like we had to beg him to go to the furniture store yesterday. I don't think he'd be tired of being at home. Huh? I don't think he'd be tired of being at home. I know he not tired of being at home, but I, I, I think he'd be tired. Yeah, I would think so too. But I was like, don't you want to go hang out with your two favorite girls? Once I said that, then he moved. But I don't want to have to constantly ask you. I feel like I'm pulling teeth. I feel like when I say let's go, let's go chill together, let's go ride around the city together, let's go. Because now I'm at the point, to turning 40, I don't want to sit at home. Especially on a Sunday like this. You try to travel and go on vacations and stay home. No, I'm saying, like, I'm 40, you're finna be 47. We're not that far, no, Zach finna be 48. We're gonna be 48, eight years apart, but we're not that far apart. So I don't under, I don't know where this old people mentality coming from because I feel like I'm in my still in my twenties. I don't move like I'm in my twenties no more. That's how you're supposed to live. You're not supposed to live like no old lady. But I don't feel, I don't feel my age. I feel really good. You don't look your age either. And that's crazy because some days I feel my body be in so much pain. So it's like 
when I don't feel that and I feel good about myself and I feel like moving and shaking and I got it, let me do me. Let me do it. Cause it's times where I, sometimes I can't even move out my bed cause I be in so much pain. So yeah, like no, I'm not doing that. I'm living my life, my best life. I've waste, I, I'm not gonna say I wasted so much time cause I didn't waste no time. I did what parents were supposed to do, which was take care of their children, be a mother, work and provide for my kids. Now they at a teenager's age where they can pretty much fend for themselves. I come off the clutch and do what parents supposed to do for their teenage kids, but they can basically feed themselves. They can cook themselves, they can dress themselves, they can wash themselves. They can do a lot of things by themselves. So they give me more, more room to move around. And she, they, she got a life now. Lorette, he, I don't know, do he got a life? He chooses not to have a life. He has I mean, he don't have a social life. But he has a life in the sense of, he play video games, that's his thing. That's what he like to do. Ja'Cory, he got a life. Right now, Ja'Cory is acting like the whole of Babylon. So, you kind of like, what is that? He out here hoeing in these streets, okay? He out here living his best life. So, you know, it's time for mama to live just a little bit. Now, I'm not going to wild out and go crazy because number one, I'm 40. Number two, I'm trying to create a brand. Number three, my kids, look, my kids look up to me. But it's time for mama to have a little fun and live a little bit. Because I, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do as a parent. Oh, I'm going to make this light. I'm going to make this light together, sir. Yes, sir. <sighs> But then only to get stuck here. Right? Are you just checking my phone now? Oh. Can you check my phone? Oh, it's slow. <laughs> Where is your phone, Audrey? Wait, is it on the side of me? No. Did you put it in my purse? No. Did you put it in there because you went to look for a mask? No, I never went in here. I didn't know the mask in here. Did you put it on the door? No. What do you put something to see? Yeah. Could you please take off your seatbelt right here? Forget them kids. I'm talking about a car will come from behind. You don't know if a car come from behind and hit us or nothing. Oh, no, still forget them kids. Oh, Lord. Hey, please. Stop doing this to me, man. <laughs> the people's going to think you're crazy. We about, to be we about to be there, and then you can get out the car and look. And watch, as soon as my husband gets to the house, he's gonna kind of say, where you at? And where you didn't want to go. Don't play with it, stay with it. I just about to have a fix. <laughs> this is hilarious. Lord, please let this food be good, because this is our first time coming here. Y'all, this has already been a whole vlog within itself. So I'm about to cut this camera off and then we're gonna help create a whole nother vlog because this vlog that we're gonna create is gonna be our first time at the broken egg y'all know I don't like vlogging in front of people because I be a little shy but today I want them to know that you dealing with a vlog vlog or nothing where is it somewhere right here oh I was gonna say girl did I did I did I imagine this in my mind okay it look like it. Oh, please don't let this be it. Girl, this is it. Oh, I can tell you. Girl, this place is packed. Oh, Jesus. Everybody want to go eat. This place got to be good if people outside in the line. In the line what? That's what I just told you. Girl, what you doing? That's a line. This is a, you going to wait in the line? Yeah, because I want to try it. Come on, put your mask on. Right, naturally smack somebody. I gotta find one that match, mama. Girl, you gonna get a mask and bring your ass on? Girl, I mean, ferocious. All right, y'all. We'll see y'all once we get where we going. Bye.